So today we'll talk about how to use slider control in After Effects. Let's make a HD composition. 10 seconds is long enough. To demonstrate this, I first draw a line, then a circle, and a circle in the circle. Create a no object, rename it to controller. You always put your slider control in a no object. Click the controller and your effects control tab will usually show up on the top left corner. You may click this lock icon to make sure you don't see other layers effects control. Inside the tab, bring in a slider control. Rename it to X. Press P on your circle layer and select position. Right click, separate dimensions. Now pick with the X position to the slider control. As soon as you release your mouse, you will see the circle's X position has taken the value of the slider control. Let me add two keyframes on the slider control. Press R on the circle layer to reveal the rotation property. Pick with the rotation to the slider as well. And this is how you create a rolling circle with the slider control. On the second example, I'll show you how to control wiggle values with a couple of slider controls. I press Ctrl D to duplicate the composition and delete all layers within it. Let's start fresh by drawing a circle with a gradient color. Put it in the center of the comp and tweak the color if you like, but that's not the point of this video. Create a node object again and rename it to controller. On the circle layer, press P to bring up the position property. Click the stopwatch to enable expressions. Inside the box, type in wiggle parenthesis 2, 5 parenthesis. Now, if I want to increase the intensity of this animation, I need to change the values. 2 is for the frequency. How many times it moves per second. 5 is the amplitude, distance from the origin. You can see how the movement is a lot bigger than before. What if you want to change the intensity at different times? We'll use the slider controls. Break in two slider controls, one rename as frequency and the other one as amplitude. Now select the first number of the expression, pick whip it to frequency and the second number to amplitude. Open up the effects in controller layer, keyframe both sliders. A few seconds later, add another two keyframes and increase on both values. After that, a few more seconds, bring both of them back down to zero. Now copy and paste the three keyframes on the timeline. This is how you control the different wiggle time of the circle. I hope this makes sense to you. If you find this useful, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, happy editing.